it wasn't anything to do with like the relationship, it was more to do with like myself and how I was feeling. It, I, I was just never really like that happy and like excited in myself. I knew deep down that it wasn't that. Ice, camera, action, action, action. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, then I'm Ellie. And today I'm gonna to be talking about something that I am super, super passionate about over on my Instagram. And it is all about the contraceptive pill and why I stopped taking it a couple of years ago. So first things first, I've actually wanted to speak about this for such a long time, but I kind of wanted to like plan out exactly what I was gonna say because I didn't want it to come across in like the wrong way. And obviously like all of this information is based on my own experiences and I'm not a doctor so don't take it as advice for what you should do obviously before you make any changes to your health or like medications that you're taking make sure that you obviously speak to your doctor first because they obviously can advise you or give you the best advice that there is I basically wanted to speak about why I came off the contraceptive pill a couple of years ago and my experiences on it what happened when I stopped taking it and why I have decided to never go back on it and what I am now doing and what I have been doing for like the past year now I think and it's working really well I've never felt more myself and yeah I'm just really enjoying it and I think a lot of women need to know like all of the other alternatives that there are like obviously some women have to be on the pill for health reasons I completely respect that I know it's difficult especially when you have to be on something but if you don't and if you're just on the pill for things such as like contraception like safe sex etc then there honestly are so many different alternatives and make sure that you speak to a GP about it because I feel like if you don't ask you never get and they don't really speak about it first and first I've written everything down on my phone on my notes because I wanted to give you guys like everything that was like on my mind and I didn't want to forget anything so I basically went on the pill when I was 15 years old so I had my first boyfriend and obviously he was like oh my god I don't want to get pregnant and I was 15 so I was underage but and I didn't want to go to the GP because I was embarrassed so I went to like one of those um, walk-in like sexual health clinic and basically like told them and obviously like I just asked for the pill because I knew nothing about contraception whatsoever and they didn't really like give me any education about it whatsoever they just said yeah that was fine and they obviously went in had a consultation and it came out and I was on the pill so that was it I was like yay I'm safe and, and like all my friends were on it and everyone was kind of on it for like different reasons like contraception bad skin moods whatever you name it and it was just the done thing like no one who was 15 or 16 whatever was on like the coil or like uh, an app or any other thing it was all about the pill so I was on the pill from 15 until I finished university so that was when I was 21 throughout that time I knew no different I had no problems I think I switched the pill like a couple of times because I went back to GP like once or twice and I was like is it okay to be on the pill for like this long because obviously I've been on it from like 15 to 21 so that's six years it's a really long time and I was starting to get a little bit worried and um, I was on Yasmin and Microgynon those are the two that I had like gone between basically like the combined pills so I got a period every three four weeks it just worked like that like it was a, a nice period it didn't really last for very long it was like not painful I never got stomach cramps I didn't know any vita like I thought it was literally fine so at university I was with my boyfriend and obviously I was on it for like contraceptive reasons and then after university I actually moved back home and my boyfriend was like living with me and we lived together for like a year by ourselves and it was kind of like in that time where I started to notice a couple of things like a few things that weren't right it wasn't anything to do with like the relationship it was more to do with like myself and how I was feeling and it just became more and more evident to me and I started like doing some research and I was just thinking I was like maybe it is like the pill because I've been on it for such a long time like I was 21 slash 22 at this time so six seven years I've been on it and yeah so like the symptoms that I were getting is my skin was kind of getting a little bit bad like I I am never one for bad skin but my skin was kind of starting to get a little bit spotty a few breakouts etc which was very unlike me I was so moody like <laughs> when I say moody I'm a really happy person but I had the worst mood swings like I was just ratty I was like crying at like the most stupid things and I didn't really know why and it was just getting like worse and worse and it had kind of like always been me like I always remember like not being that much of a happy person throughout university I don't know why like, I was just never really like that happy and like excited in myself and it was just getting like worse the more that I kind of like been on it when I was living with my boyfriend I also just suddenly like 
completely lost all interest in him um, but not just him like it was like in everything like I had no like sex drive like it had gone I wasn't like interested in him I wasn't interested in anyone else I wasn't interested in children I wasn't interested in like looking after people's children I had low like emotional connection and I started to put it down to like the pill and I was like I swear this thing is like making me like non-female <laughs> it's making me like have no emotions and just feel really really numb and really empty it got to that point where it was putting like a massive strain on our relationship and i went to the doctors and i said and i was like oh, i've been on the pill for like six seven years whatever surely like this is not good for me to be on the pill for this long i don't know what my body's like and i've got no sex drive and they said to me they were like mm, are you sure like it's nothing to do with like the relationship itself and at this point i was like pretty happy in my relationship and i was like no it's nothing to do with the relationship and they kind of made me like second guess like my actual relationship when i knew deep down that it wasn't that they were like really unhelpful and i remember them like switching the pill and then they switched it to the progesterone only pill and oh wow like my skin I have never ever been so spotty in my entire life. I just remember like seeing my sister and she was like, what have you done to your face? It was like slick grease. It was just awful. After that, I was like, do you know what? Like I've literally had enough. I stopped taking the pill. I was like, I'm really sorry. Like I'm not being on the pill anymore. I can like put everything down to it. And I stopped taking the pill and my boyfriend at the time was like, yeah, like whatever, that's fine. We'll just do like use other methods. So I stopped taking it. And then I'd say like a few weeks, maybe like a month or so later, I started to have like I just felt like so much more positive about life and I felt more me and I had like more emotion and like I wasn't so numb and just these little things like better moods I wasn't crying I was happier like I wanted to do more stuff it was the weirdest thing like I just remember it so clearly because it was like I just felt so differently like I started coming up to London more I was like seeing my friends more I was like putting myself out there more and Obviously, like, maybe there were, like, different things as well, but I personally swear it was to do with, like, how I was just... I was almost, like, free from being, like, under, like, this hormonal synthetic control for, like, so long. That happened, and then I actually broke up with that boyfriend, like, a few, like, half a year later or whatever, um, just due to, like, different reasons, nothing to do with that. It got to the point where, like, I still hadn't had a period by this time, by the way. I stopped that pill, and I didn't have a period for what turned out to be, like, 18 months. So it was a really long time, and I was waiting for my body to like click and like get back into rhythm and get a period again and i like said it was like mainly because of the pill but looking back to be honest it probably wasn't just the pill like that definitely didn't help 100 percent didn't help but my um i was like probably under eating for how much i was training i was quite stressed with like work and like figuring out what i wanted to do in life i um obviously went through a breakup i um was doing like quite a lot of crossfit so there were like quite a few things that triggered me not probably getting my cycle back but 100% the pill started it and it didn't help in that situation but yeah after 18 months I got my period back and as soon as I got it back I felt like a new woman I just felt back to myself I have had regular cycles ever since and honestly I've never felt like more myself just so much like happier I can't even explain how much it like put a blanket over me for like all those years and I'm so angry at myself for letting myself be under like a hormonal control for such a long time and I didn't know like the risks of the pill either because when I was so young like when I was 15 I did, like you don't really know much about it do you because everyone's on it you kind of just accept that that's like the thing to do the risks now with like taking the pill and obviously like the GP will go over all of this with you um, but I think it's really interesting like with everything that's going on at the moment and COVID and everything and the vaccines and people didn't want to get the vaccine at first because they were really scared about the risk of a blood clot but when you actually look at the like data and like all of the information that they've come up with so the risk of getting a blood clot from having an oral contraceptive like the pill is actually one in three thousand and the risk of getting a blood clot from taking a covid vaccine is one in a million when you put it like that like this is just data that i've come across like online take it like that it's like wow that risk of getting a blood clot from the pill is so much greater than getting it from the covid vaccine and everyone was like so angry at the risk from getting it from the vaccine so much so that they probably it probably would have affected like loads of 
women's like decisions to actually get the COVID vaccine. But those women were probably on oral contraceptive. Like they were probably taking a pill. So it's just like, it's actually mind blowing that like it's not put out there more when you go to get the pill from the doctors. Also like it kind of put things into perspective for me when a couple of my like really close friends actually got blood clots from taking the pill. And this is when it actually started to like bring to my attention that it actually had like quite a big risk to it. So one of my close friends, she actually had two blood clots from two different two different pills and now she doesn't take anything because it was obviously like a massive risk if you got rushed to the hospital and I think it's really common for that to happen which is quite scary and it's so common that it makes me angry because women take obviously like I've said some people have to be on it but for those who don't you know like we take this contraceptive pill every single day of the year or bar like one week every month whatever all for to protect yourself from potentially getting pregnant on one day of the month so technically you can actually only get pregnant on one day of the month and that's your ovulation day give or take i think it's about five six days for like the lifespan of sperm it like annoys me that we have to take this pill which changes us so much for just one day every single month and i think a lot of women need to know that because i didn't know that i didn't know that it was just one day and when i did i was like what like it just doesn't make sense and there are just like so many different alternatives that you can use to protect yourself for those that one day or those five, six days, whatever, of the month. I think another thing that actually I realized when I came off the pill was like how my body physically changed as well, because obviously there was like that um, psychological effect of it, like how I felt like a new person. I wasn't like, I wasn't moody, I wasn't like, there was obviously that psychological um, like effect of me not taking the pill and like how much better I felt and everything. And then there was also the, but then there was also like the physical changes that occurred to my body. So I remember like, like I, when I came off the pill, I start, I think, I'm trying to think of like how long it was and I'm pretty sure it was like within like two, three months of like not taking it. I just felt like my body was so much less bloated and my performance like in the gym just shot up. And I always remember like, I really struggled to build muscle when I was like on the pill and training. Like, oh, like I remember like, it just took quite a long time. Whereas like now my performance in the gym is definitely enhanced. And obviously there are different factors that could go into that. Like I, you know, I might be eating more, like I might have more muscle now, so I perform better. So, you know, it's really hard to tell like if it was the pill, but I know that like the pill, so the combined pill, which has both progesterone and estrogen, obviously affect like our natural cycling of our hormones. So like our normal cycle that goes when you have your period and like each month what happens. But I know that like both of them can really affect our testosterone as women. So yes, we have testosterone and us taking these pills really affects it. And testosterone is really important for like performance and muscle growth. So taking progesterone and estrogen can really affect testosterone and affect those things. Thinking about now, I feel like potentially it might have happened to me. Not to mention like when I came off the pill, I felt, like I said, like so much less bloated. My body was just leaner like all the time. And like, you know, there could be other reasons for this, but I do honestly believe that I was like carrying a lot more water when I was on the pill. And like just had that constant feeling of like bloat, like, you know, when you're just like, Ugh. Like it was just like that constant kind of feeling. Whereas now I wake, wake in the morning and I can definitely feel like leaner and stuff. And actually if you take the combined pill, which has both estrogen and progesterone, and actually the combined pill has been proven to affect the amount of water that we retain in our bodies, especially like around ovulation period, I think it was. Um, so that's really interesting because I definitely feel that like that was me like I was holding a lot more water and obviously when you retain water your scale weight is going to go up so a lot of women say that when they're on the pill they feel like they put on body fat and actually like I kind of think that that might be true because if you alter like your natural cycles of your hormones so when you're taking that estrogen and progesterone or even if it was taking the mini pill which is just progesterone you are like affecting like your normal hormone regulation so your normal hormones are what controls like your appetite in your society and if these are changed like you can actually like feel more hungry like and when you're hungrier you're going to want to eat more you're going to want to reach for like those sweet snacks which we as women like all crave so when you come off the pill i felt that like my i wasn't as hungry i was able to like stick to my diet like way easier because i didn't have those like hunger cues so much and i think a lot of women like need to know that like it's not actually the pill that physically makes you put on weight like obviously it's all about calories like calories in versus calories out but if you're like 
feeling hungry all the time, you're gonna listen to those hunger cues and you're gonna eat more and that's what causes the extra weight gain when you're on the pill. And I fully believe that like when I came off it, I lost weight, I got leaner and I felt less bloated and my mood lifted and my skin was better and it was just like all these things. And obviously there's that reduced risk of having a blood So loss. yeah, like that is basically my kind of whole view on the pill. Like obviously I'm quite biased because of my own experiences. Just remember that it's from my own experiences. I'm not a doctor. So make sure you take it um, with a pinch of salt and obviously do your own research and speak to your GP. And obviously try to get them to speak to you about your other options. So now I'm gonna speak about what I'm doing now because a lot of people are interested and I'm, I speak about it a lot over on my Instagram because I'm really passionate about it. And I finally found something that works and makes me feel like me all the time. And I don't have to take anything. I don't have to change my hormone cycles. It's just me. So what I found is when I came off the pill and I was looking for like another alternative or whatever after that break, I speaking to a friend at uni and she was like oh she was like have you tried this app and I was like an app and she was showing it on her phone and I was like that's really cool and it was basically an app called natural cycles I know there are lots of apps on the market but this one is actually FDA approved this might be wrong but it's around 93% effective whereas the pill I think is about 98 99 and um, but both of them are very dependent on the user you know like if you take your pills every single day when you're meant to take them at the same time you're gonna have the best effectiveness for not getting pregnant whereas with this app if you use it correctly you're gonna have the best effectiveness for not getting pregnant so yeah, she was showing me this app and basically it's an app where you take your temperature every morning. So you put a thermometer in your mouth under your tongue before you do anything. Like as soon as you wake up, you take the temperature. Then you put it into the app. It takes a reading and what it does is it looks at your temperatures over the month. And when you get a spike in your temperature, that is when you are ovulating. Um, so most women who have regular cycles, who um, have periods, you know, on like a regular basis can use this app. And I, that's me. So I was like, yes, I want to do this. So I paid 50 50 pound for this app for the year and you get like your thermometer and everything and I started using it and at first you basically get loads of red days which is where you can't have sex because you the app doesn't know like enough about you yet so you have loads of red days and then once you like keep using it and you keep being consistent with it and you keep entering your temperature the red days start to go green and then it gives you days when you can definitely have sex unprotected um they could probably come in you and you're not gonna get pregnant so yeah I started using this app and after like three four months I was like wow I know so much about my body like I know when I'm ovulating I know when it's my luteal phase when it's my follicular phase so they're the phases of like your periods basically because like this app teaches you so much about it like you can even enter your mood when you had sex like if you're angry if you're sad if your breasts are sore like it's so many things that you can enter into this app it's amazing because like the same kind of things happen every month for me like Kieran and I my boyfriend we always seem to have an argument the day before my period and it's weird because I'm angry I'm snappy um, and like all of these things contribute to us having this argument and every time I can put it down to the day on this app it's so strange but it works so well um, and I found it's like it's just taught me so much about myself and you know even if you don't use the app like even if you are on contraception I would really recommend using it because it teaches you a lot um, and I've never felt like more in control of my own health and my own body and I just couldn't recommend it enough and by the way this is not an ad this is me like saying my experiences like I said um and yeah I think you know it's FDA approved which means it's approved as a form of contraception and a lot of more people like need to know about this kind of thing because I feel like a lot of us just know about the pill maybe about the coil um, that maybe about the injection or the implant and all of those things are very invasive and again they alter your natural hormones i just wanted something natural and i just feel so much happier and i wanted to share this with you girls because i know that a lot of people probably are going through the same and i just wish that i knew sooner basically um, and i regret like pumping my body full of that horrible pill for so many years. Yeah, I hope this helps. I'm sorry this is like a massive ramble, but I just needed to obviously speak about it and in a way that would get my message out there. Um, and like I said, this is just from my experience. If you've got any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But make sure you also like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I can keep bringing you girls more informative videos like this. So thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.